Gemini, happy June. Uh, I just want to discuss how my business is now till July 11th. If you were drawn to my channel, it's because either you've gone through a mental abuse situation or you've been with a narcissist, um, only one in which you go through it can you go ahead and help others with it. So take what never resonates, what doesn't fit, please get rid of. Um, if you'd like a private reading, I am accepting readings. I'm getting caught up even though retrograde is kissing my ass, kicking my ass. So things will clear itself out on the 22nd. Please don't sign any contracts. And if you need any advice, please hit me down below. Drop me a heart and let me know how I'm doing. And uh, let's get into the reading. So we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Someone walking away and looking at the past. The Empress and the Seven of Chalices, which is water energy. So someone is finally okay with being the high stature that you are. Someone is finally okay with being who they are. And we have a major arcana in this row. Two, I'm sorry, the lovers, right? Which is the duality of you inside yourself it's you can go through heartbreak one minute and be okay the next but this Gemini is calming and you're looking back for some sort of communication or you want to reach out to someone who hurt you maybe you hurt yourself in this but you go from the eight to the seven and sometimes in some signs we have to go backwards before we go forward right we have to take one step back to go two steps forward so let's get a little bit more energy here we have Taurus energy as well uh which the Taurus moon I'm a Taurus moon so we're it's the duality between the sun and the moon right we're between two lunar eclipses so what I would say is you're staying pretty abundance is coming your way and prosperity and you're seen as the empress right someone of fertility and someone who loves to be outside and is completely okay with your body your heart your soul and your mind there's no problem when it comes to love yourself clarify the lovers here gemini is showing up at their own reading looking back maybe you were married communications coming in from a fire sign or you're getting ready to send a fire sign some sort of communication it is in regards to past heartbreak uh maybe betrayal um, they are accepting this. I'm not sure if they're going to reach back. It is in reverse. Either it's already happened or it's getting ready to happen. Um, and it looks like someone cut someone out here. Someone's got king status. Nothing shakes them. Nothing moves them. Um, they have a book in their hand, wisely looking and being educated and smart here. Uh, cutting it out and finally, you know, feeling the fire within them. It's moving you forward in regards to maybe this message or the message you're sending out. Sometimes we have to ask for forgiveness because it's for our own sake. The person may not forgive us, but in this case, there's an emperor showing up on top of the emperor. So we have a, a partnership here. It's a soulmate. I'm not exactly feeling a masculine and a feminine. Maybe it's two counterparts, two females who are friends or two males who are friends. One holds the sun and one holds the moon. Weird. I've never gotten the empress on top of the emperor. Look, look how pretty these are. Someone's at the head chakra, someone's at the bottom of the chakra. Someone's rooted, they know who they are, they feel it, they do what they say they're gonna do. And up here, someone is seeing things that the other person didn't see. Someone has known and has information in regards to why this partnership did not work out. Someone wants to find it out. Someone's holding ground. So there's duality and a battle here of the, of the minds. The king always wins though. The king is cutting crap out, cutting out communication, cutting out anything from coming in or coming out. They're closed off. six of pentacles and stop on top of the transformation with the butterfly so um either you're coming in or coming out of a situation in regards to money possibly a new job here and feeling free again so maybe you've let go of a job that really didn't serve you maybe you got terminated and your boss and you you thought you really just weren't going to make it but in this situation you're completely okay feeling Capricorn energy, right? I always feel money with Capricorn energy. This is a loss. This is looking back on maybe a divine counterpart and trying now to, well, you're still in a sexual relationship with this person. Maybe you're looking back and thinking after this relationship that, um, it's not exactly what you thought it would be, right? Passion is just passion. Sometimes it doesn't get off the ground. Uh, there's some victory here in regards to uh, abundance, regards to you per se, in regards to your heart space. This is past energy, six on six. It was your sixth life together. You went through a very hard karmic lesson with the partnership for a really long time and then you got out of it. Yep, there's the tower moment coming in. This relationship didn't last very long. It was passionate, maybe a year or two years. You both really weren't looking for the same things. You were at different places in your life. 
Yep, someone's looking back, spying. Someone's looking at a past husband or a relationship, really trying to figure things out in their life, but they're spying. Social media, maybe it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not really sure, but that's the energy that I have. And it's a wish fulfillment. And you're making some new magic happen after somebody's coming out of hermit. So you're seeking a committed relationship at this point. There was possibly a breakup, maybe a child who was sick or was going through some traumatic situations. And you were just kind of trying to hold down the fort with your money. Now you're trying to take the courage to hold back, fight the things that no longer serve you, and reach for the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a completion with your emotional status. It is moving on, even though your cups are full or empty. It is you transforming to the next level. Let's see if we can get some past messages. Let's get a message from the Two of Cups. I miss your scent. Okay, let's get a message from your karmic partner. The karmic's the one that's here to teach you certain lessons in your life to level up. I wasn't interested in a serious relationship. See, they kept telling you and you kept pushing it. Just because you're in a relationship with a man or a woman does not mean they have the same feelings for you. I know that for a fact. You know, honesty is the best policy, but some people get in their ego and they're like, I'm going to get rid of them before they get rid of me. I was confused about what made me happy. That's your karmic. They didn't know what made them happy. You thought giving them sex was making them happy, and it wasn't. To be honest, I felt like I was getting mixed signals. That's from you to your partner. So you knew. You felt it. Let's see this two of cups, the person from the past you're spying on. I got you on my mind. So you're in their thoughts. Karma's a bitch. So when we're in a cycle where someone's not honest or they can't conclude the arrangement that the two of you have or there's no justification, trust your gut instinct. Uh, if you have any questions in regards to that, signs, red signs, red signals, whatever the hell they're called, um, red flags, sorry, then just call me. I know everyone you could possibly have. I'll put them in a book soon. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving, affection, falling in love. So you are granted kisses. You you were, I think you loved the person. You loved your karmic partner. I think you even loved your two of cups at one time. But sometimes we grow out of relationships because we're done learning from that situation. Not showing true feelings, hiding, personality, pretend, dilute, gaslighting. Yep, this was a karmic partner you were involved in. I think your family and friends tried to warn you, but you were like, I don't want this, I don't want this, and then you caught feelings. Yep, you wanted the engagement, you wanted the ring, you wanted the commitment, you wanted the union, you just didn't get it, it's in the reverse. Final card here. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events in your head. So you're in your head, Gemini. Normally you're in and out of your head, but this person caught you off guard. Spirit angels, is this relationship over? Is this karmic relationship over? Spirit, give me the answer. Yes, answer is over. Will they be coming back? No, choose a new direction. On the node, whatever your node is, right? It's the North Star. Find out what that sign is. That's the best person at this particular moment during retrograde that you need to be around. It's something about their soul that enlightens you. So there's crowds of people. Maybe you speak in front of people, but they're showing you there's a whole new world out there. There's many options that you haven't even gotten to yet. Let's get clarification real quick on the final outcome of Gemini. Holding your cup in your hand and not giving it to anybody. Yep, holding it back. You want to tell them how you feel. You're not telling them. You're going to hold it. Even dip, big dick. Of, yep. In your emotional status. You're not sharing your emotions with them. One-sided relationship. Going into hermit. 